Android PS3 emulator APS3E involved in some sort of controversy due to GPL licensing violation but regardless of that this video will not focus on the issue otherwise I will guide you on how to set this up for the first time share my experiences as well as some of the tips and tricks that you can use to run some games all right let's start by setting this up official github for this project was removed a few days ago due to the violation however you can still download it in some of the sites or i think some of the fan made sites made by the community which i will link down below so just download it and install after installed open the app it will show some kind of notice for the first time like this app was built for an older version of android so it supports android 7 or later based on research it also says it might not work properly and doesn't include the latest security and privacy protections so uh, yeah just click ok then it will also ask some permissions like notifications and this is important you need to allow the file permission for your device so that you can install stuff you can install games firmware so just click on allow inside the app you will see almost nothing like the game list is empty the first thing you need to do is to click on the three dots located at the top right corner of the screen so in here you will see refresh list it will actually refresh the list of the games you installed if you install one then install iso slash pkg then about and update log so the first thing that you need to do is install firmware so where do you get that just go to your browser so just search on the internet ps3 firmware download and go to the official playstation website scroll down till you can see the update using a computer click that then download ps3 update just wait for it to download its name ps3 up that that pup around 206 mb so after that go back to the emulator click on the three dots install firmware so downloads and install the firmware it is necessary to install the firmware since you can't boot games or you can't run games without this just wait for a few seconds then should be installed so right after that you're now ready to install games so click on install iso slash pkg then search for your game where you save it in your storage then in my case i will install god of war 3 that pkg just wait for a while then it will be installed So once the loading is done you will see nothing just don't worry click on the three that's again then refresh list and now the game is displayed you cannot do much for now you can do uh touch to hold, but the option is only delete no other options like graphic settings or controls so you're stuck with this for now after that you can actually open the game you can actually start it it will compile some stuff i think some shaders it usually takes a while for the first time but the second time is a little bit less based on experience so as you can see it's not rendering well like the graphics broken but there are ways to fix this by doing some text or config file editing and here's how so just close the app then go to your file manager so the main folder for aps3 is in your root folder internal storage then aps 3 e open it and the file that you need to open is under the config file then config.yml so you can use any text editor app on your android device or if you have a pc you can edit it there but i find it more convenient to edit straight away from android so click on it then text editor 
there are a lot of parameters here as you can see but based on testing i only have a few that i could share well at least for me that works you may also try it too if some of your games won't run or like there are having rendering issues or something like that so here are the parameters that i found having impact on the games that you wanted to play so first is the ppu decoder llvm is actually the fastest configuration but some games like god of war 3 requires static this will not fix the rendering issue but i find it helpful with the freezes and the crashes that i have experienced after that scroll down and under the video section or right here so renderer vulcan you don't need to change that resolution so for resolution i found it not having changes inside the game i did change it to 640 by 480 but still in-game renders still look like 720p so i think it's broken as of the moment aspect ratio it works the parameters that you need to focus here are these four right color buffers right depth buffers read color buffers read depth buffers you can change it to true and for god of war you need to change right color buffers then read color buffers to true to fix those rendering issues it may vary device to device but for 8 plus gen 1 these are the settings that actually works for me and if i only change one like right color buffers it will not boot into the game it requires these two specifically to to boot the game then fix the rendering issues in here you can also see the shader position which was set to high you can change it to low but i don't see any bump in performance when changing it to low so i think it's kind of broken but yeah right color buffers right depth buffers read color buffers read depth buffers are the settings that you have to keep an eye on lastly if you want to toggle on the performance overlay you can actually do that by scrolling down then go to performance overlay section and change the value of enabled to true so by changing this to true in-game performance overlay will be displayed so that's pretty much it so to recap you need to keep an eye on these parameters ppu decoder compiler llvm to or static then under the display section right color buffers right depth buffers read color buffers then read depth buffers right depth buffers and read depth buffers a bit minor like most of my games will run without it but maybe some of the games will so after that just save it and open god of war again so there you go the graphics is way better now like it's rendering the colors and stuff like that another tip that i could share is when installing games like for example you don't want to install games in is or that pkg on the application so if you have an extracted game files install it directly into the application for example here just move or copy the ps3 underscore game into a ps3 folder config then go to dev underscore hdd0 then go to game then paste it here but you're not done yet open the app again then you need to take note of this code bell us 3443 it's the game title code or something so you need to take note of that then go back to the aps3 folder and rename the folder that you moved the ps3 underscore game
So what will happen if you will not rename it? It will result your game not opening and will just show black screen. I found this method helpful since I don't have to wait for the games to install when installing inside the application. Also most of my games are all in the folders format since it's decrypted and it's way easier for me. Also the emulator does not boot the game directly from the ISO like the other emulators. It does extract it to the folders format so you can save some hassle when installing games. Alright, now for the games that I tested. The first game that I tested was Terraria and it's performing great like 60 FPS lag. Though I have some issues with the controls, the buttons like R1, R2 or interchange or something. So yeah, it's actually pretty easy to emulate game, 2D game so you will have no, no issue with it. The next game that I tested is Rayman Origins. So for this game, you don't need to change the config file or some of the parameters there. Default settings will work just fine. Performance is also good. No noticeable audio issues, no rendering issues. And performance is also stable. Next game is Demon Souls. So for this one, I did change some of the settings or some of the config file parameters. I did change the PPU decoder compiler to static, then write color buffers to true, then read color buffers to true. Obviously there are audio issues, FPS issues, and rendering issues. Then for the last game, God of War 3. So same settings, same config file with the Demon Souls PPU decoder to static. Then, then write color buffers to true, then read color buffers to true. Performance is also not that great, like way less FPS, some noticeable rendering glitches, audio issues, and overall not playable. Do I recommend this emulator? Well, personally, I don't recommend this emulator if the issue will not be sorted out. Might change in the future if things will go well or like there will be good news or something. But who knows? Anyways, let me know down in the comments below what you think about this emulator. And as always, if you like the video, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.